Welcome to Align Christ-Centered Yoga. My name is Linda and I'll be guiding our practice today. Today's practice is a memory verse flow, so we are connecting scripture to breath and movement as we memorize it. Our memory verse today comes from the prophet Zechariah, a vision given to him to encourage and instruct Zerubbabel. And the Lord says this. He says, this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. What tasks are looming over you, seemingly, seemingly insurmountable? This past weekend, I took students to Baltimore, three foremen, 10 students, and we renovated two bathrooms in an old church. We took out bathroom stalls, we sanded them, we painted them, we replaced the floors, we painted the walls. We had essentially brand new bathrooms at the end of one day. It was a task far too big for us to handle, well beyond our scope of expertise. But the Lord needed it done and he got it done through us. Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord God Almighty. Close your eyes and find your breath. And let the weight of all of the to-dos slide off your shoulders and off the mat. Breathe in his power and his strength. Let go of the need to achieve on your own. Slow the breath down. Inhale down the body and exhale up the body and create space with that inhale. Take another two breaths here. Not by might nor by power, but by my strength, says the Lord God Almighty. Taking a deep breath in, let arms rise up and overhead, let the gaze follow. And exhale, bringing the hands down, and then leave the right hand where it is, bring that left arm all the way across and over. Again, arms rising up and floating back to the mat. Left hand stays where it is, right arm reaches over. Continuing here, connecting with the scripture verse. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit says the Lord God Almighty. One more time, arms rising and falling. And reaching that left arm up and over. And release, that would have been your right arm. Deep breath in, arms rise, exhaling, hands to heart. Hands in prayer. Saying the scripture verse again, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord God Almighty. If you're up on a blanket or a prop, I invite you to come off of it and bring any props that you have towards the front of the mat. Go ahead and take that right leg out to the side. Turn the body towards the leg and consider activating the muscles of the leg as that heel presses out, hip crease draws back, and then drawing the navel in and up. Exhale your way forward, inhale back. So back and forth here, exhaling, inhaling, checking in what's going on in the back, the hamstring, behind the knee, the glutes. 
one more time. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. Settle in, says the Lord God Almighty. Begin to find a little more length in the spine. Begin to soften the body and let the head get heavy. And that next inhale, gently walk the hands back, sit up straight. You're going to bring that left hand behind you, sweep the right arm in front of you, open up, draw the hip points towards the sky, and find that release and that stretch in the front of the body. And release and sweep the arm all the way forward and down again. Bring the legs forward. Bounce the knees, windshield wiper the feet. Find a nice, strong pose as the arms rise high. Staff pose. The shoulders drop. Find the strength and the balance. And exhale the arms down to the side. Go ahead and bring that left leg out. Right leg bent as the foot presses into thigh. Create a little bit of traction there as they press together. Exhale forward, inhale back. What's going on on this side? One more time here. Not by might. Not by power. But by my strength, says the Lord God Almighty. Find the stretch. What can you do to find more release, less struggle? One more breath here. And walk the hands back, come back to sitting. Bring that right hand behind you, sweep that left arm all the way up, hips draw up towards the sky, open up the front of the body. One more breath here. Exhale and release. Bring the feet to center, come back up onto your sitting bones and holding onto your feet, just lift the knees and let them go up and down. And as you're ready, begin to find this butterfly pose, sitting up straight, maybe creating a little more stretch as the arms press those legs down, maybe hinging a little bit forward at the hips. But I invite you today to keep that spine straight. So rather than folding over, dropping the head, engage through the abdominals, find that lift in the lower back, and find your stretch. Stay here for another two breaths. Add the memory verse. Not by might. Not by power. But by my spirit, says the Lord God Almighty. As you're ready, gently come back. Hands underneath the knees, bring those knees up, meet me in table. So let's warm up through the back. Fingers spread wide, knees hip width apart, pressing through the tops of your feet. Go ahead and arch the back into cat. And then bring the heart through the arms. Tilt the hips forward, find cow. So back and forth here, cat to cow. Adding the scripture verse, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord, God 
Almighty. Meet me back at center. Take your hands, one hand print forward. Find a kneeling plank, and from plank, come down to the mat. And forearms wide, take a nice deep breath in. Let the chest rise. Exhaling, come down, hands to the rib cage. Come back to child. So plank to the mat, sphinx to child. Nice deep breath in, exhaling down, rising into sphinx. Gliding into child. Again with the scripture verse. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord God Almighty. Stay in child's pose. Find your stretch here. One more breath. Rise up onto hands and knees. Go ahead and turn the right fingertips in as the left arm rises, and then thread the needle as that left arm comes underneath. So back and forth here two more times. And as you're ready, settle shoulder and head on the mat, beginning to Open up across the upper back. So let that shoulder come back behind you a little bit. Stack the shoulders. Maybe that top arm rises. Maybe it comes to the sacrum bone, provides a little bit of support there at the back. One more breath here. Unwind. Meet me in table and come back to child's pose. Take a breath here. Lengthening through the spine. Doesn't matter how far back those hips go. Just find your pose. And inhaling, find your way back to table. So this time it's the left fingertips that turn in, the right arm that rises up. It's a gentle twist here, back and forth. Connecting to breath and scripture, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord God Almighty. Settle into your twist. And again, as you stack your shoulders, you know, maybe you can feel that release and stretch across the shoulder blades. And maybe that top arm rises. And maybe the hand comes to the back and supports it. One more breath here. And as you're ready, unwind, hands underneath the shoulders. And again, come back to child. On the next inhale, come forward into plank, come down to the mat, and find sphinx again. And this time, stay in sphinx. And begin to activate it and make it strong, and press the forearms down and the tops of the feet down, and feel the shoulder blades glide wide. And we're going to add a hip stretch to this. So I invite you to take that right leg and that right knee and just bend it. So my knee's at a 90 degree angle. And then come down, stacking your forearms. And turn your cheek towards your leg. And just kind of check in there. And if it works for you, consider turning your cheek away from the leg. Or maybe you're just looking down. 
So decide, be intentional about what is best for your neck and settle here for a breath. Rise up into Sphinx, find your Sphinx pose again. Keep the leg there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the opposite arm. So for me, it's that left arm from the bent leg. Take it underneath and over the leg. Drop the shoulder to the mat. You're gonna roll over onto your back and find a twist. So bring this right foot to the inside of your knee. Bring the arm up and over. Roll over onto your back. And find your twist here. And adjust your hips. Just notice where it took you and notice any sensations that you feel. Maybe across the hip. Maybe in the back. Maybe across the chest. One more breath here. As you're ready, release, roll back over onto your belly and find that Sphinx pose again. And exhale down, hands to the rib cage, back to child. Stay in child, press into that left hand, bring the right arm underneath and bring the shoulder down to the mat and the head down to the mat. And settle here. So lots of different ways to release through the back. One more breath. As you're ready, unwind. Meet me back in plank. Engage through the abdominals. Find the strength of the plank. Exhale your way down to the mat. Rise into your sphinx, strong sphinx. Say the scripture verse. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord God Almighty. Go ahead and bend that left knee. So again, 90 degree angle as the knee comes out. Flex the foot or relax it. Yeah, it's kind of up to you. I think if you flex the foot, there's a little more support for the knee joint. Go ahead and stack your shoulder or stack your forearms. Turn your cheek towards your leg as you settle into the stretch. And then consider turning your cheek away from the leg or down towards the mat and find the stretch that's right for you. As you're ready, gently come back. So come into Sphinx. You're gonna bring that right arm underneath and across the leg, the bent leg. Bring the foot in towards the other knee. Roll over onto your back and find your twist. And then adjust into it. Can you bring the shoulder blades to the mat? Does that determine the range of motion? Where is the stretch for you on this side? Take one more breath here. Again, just roll back over, come into your Sphinx pose. Exhale down to the mat, hands to rib cage, come back to child. And so here in child, go ahead and take that left hand all the way up and underneath. 
And let the shoulder and the head drop down. And find a stretch here. Again, let the body adjust into it. As you're ready, release. Come back up onto hands and knees. Curl the toes under and meet me in down dog. So let the knees draw into the rib cage. Let the head come down. Shake the head out, no and yes. Begin to pedal through the feet and notice what's going on in the legs. So we always already stretched the hamstrings, you know, but how do the joints feel? How do the calves and the feet feel? Nice deep breath in, lift the heels, exhaling, let those heels come towards the mat. Just go where you go and notice what this first downward facing dog is telling you. On the next inhale, raise that right leg to the sky. And drawing the gaze forward, bring the foot all the way through the hands. Maybe bringing the blocks to either side of the foot if you have them and if they're useful. Let the back knee come down and up. Go ahead and just stretch through the front of the hip there. And as you're ready, let the knee drop down, top of the foot to the mat. So find a nice stretch here in the psoas of that extended back leg. Maybe sinking a little heavier into the front, pressing through the base of the big toe. Maybe drawing that back hip forward just a little bit. And then from here, raise the back leg up. Straighten and bend the front leg twice. Are you connected to breath? And as you're ready, extending the front leg, let the head come down, shake the top of the head, no and yes. Find your hamstring stretch here. Go ahead and lunge that front leg forward. Bring the back foot up to meet the front. Find your forward fold, back of the head reaching towards the mat. And then let the hands come down and bend and straighten the knees a few times. Hands to shins, rise up halfway. Exhaling, come down. Breathing in, rise all the way up. Mountain pose. Hands to heart. Saying the scripture verse. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord God Almighty. Just noticing how mountain pose feels. Deep breath in, arms rise. Exhaling, forward fold. And hands to shins, rise up halfway. Exhale, come down, meet me in plank. From plank, come down to the mat. Find your back bend. And meet me in downward facing dog. Curling the toes under, bringing those hands to wherever you need them to be. Beginning to engage the muscles of the legs, drawing the belly in. This time the left leg rises on the inhale and the gaze forward and the foot floats through. And the back knee taps down and up. And one more time, again, maybe using blocks. Let the back knee come down, top of the foot to the mat. So again, can you find the pose that gives you the best stretch for the psoas muscle? Maybe that back hip draws a little forward. Maybe that front hip drops a little. What happens if you engage the abdominals or relax the shoulders? And then curling the back toe under, raise the back leg. Straighten and bend the front. And 
and find your hamstring stretch. Again, just folding the body over the legs, shaking the head out, no and yes. As you're ready, bend the front knee. This time I invite you to walk your feet towards the wide edge of the mat. And bring the blocks if you're using them and have them. We're going to work our way into triangle into both sides of the mat, one on each side. So wide leg, forward fold. Bring the arms out. Find a downward facing dog back. Shake your head out no and yes. And as you're ready, gently walk the hands back to center, engaging the abdominals, extend through the spine, push through the feet, hands to hip crease, rise high. Go ahead and turn the right toes towards the back edge of what was formerly the back edge of the mat and um, align the feet so that the heel is coming towards the instep of that back foot. Align the feet so that the hips are open. So if you need to shift that foot a little bit, go ahead and do that. Find your warrior two. Exhaling, bring the back arm to the front, bow and arrow as you pull back. Inhale forward, exhale back to warrior two. So two more times here, just bringing that body forward, drawing the elbow back. Again, a little bit of you know, dynamic release for that upper back. One more time. Drop the back arm, find the peaceful warrior. And then come all the way forward, forearm to thigh, reach, 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 reach overhead, side angle bend. From here, straighten out that top arm, drop the other arm towards the mat, and this is where you'll Use that block if that's better for you. And gently begin to straighten that front leg. So stacking the shoulders, drawing the abdominals again in and up, kind of floating the hand that is lower. Maybe the gaze is up. Where are you finding the stretch and the release? As you're ready, gently lunge the leg, draw the back arm down. Arm rises. And then just bring the arms up and point the toes forward. Hands to hip crease, forward fold. This time, take the hands behind you. Fingers reaching all the way back, back of the head reaching towards the mat. Shake your head out no and yes. Let the head get heavy. Find breath. And then bring the hands forward and again, you know, come up onto the fingertips as you extend through the back. Back is flat, hands to hip crease, press through the feet, rise up. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. That front foot lunging towards the front edge of the mat. Adjust the length of the stance. Open up the hips. Find your warrior two. So again, finding the bow and arrow, so this back arm coming forward. Elbow draws back. Feel the muscles of the back working. Bring it forward all the way out again. Two more times. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. One more time. You're ready, drop that back arm. Front arm comes up, peaceful warrior. Come over into side angle bend, front forearm to the thigh. Arm reaching, 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 pressing through the outside edge of the foot. Begin to find the stretch here. And then that top arm rises. Again, maybe a block is better for you. It can be any height you need it to be. And the hand to the leg or the hand to the block or the floor, and gently begin to straighten the leg. And find your triangle. Find your breath. One more breath here. And 
As you're ready, lunge the leg, come back into that peaceful warrior. And this time, cartwheel the hands to either side of that front foot, pivot the back foot, block out of the way, float the back foot up to meet the front, forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway, exhaling down, rise up into mountain. Palms together, hands to prayer, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord God Almighty. Taking a deep breath in, arms rise, exhaling, forward fold. Hands to shins, come up halfway, exhaling, come down one leg back and then the other, meet me in plank. From plank, come down to the mat. Find your forearms, rise up, sphinx pose. Exhale back to child and stay in child. Hip creases drawing back, head to the mat. Finding breath. And as you stay here in child, again, let the weight of anything you need to accomplish wash away. Soften the body. Soften the forehead. I'm going to read to you from the book, How Far You Have Come. There will be seasons of life where the work you have done will feel like it is not enough. You will feel like you've reached the height of what you can do. A voice whispers over the fields telling you to rest, to wake up, to eat, take another step, come, and find peace. Stay here for three more breaths. Gently pressing into your hands, rise up to sitting and bring the feet in front of you. And come down onto your back. And give yourself a hug and rock side to side. And then hands to knees, gently bring the knees into the rib cage and away back and forth here. And extend the legs long. Maybe windshield wiper the feet or bounce the knees or wiggle the hips. Bring the hands up, palms reaching in and let the shoulders drop and do that twice more. And as you're ready, let the hands come down, palms up. And gently turn your head side to side from the top of one ear up and over to the top of the other. And two more times here. And settle at center. And find breath. Breathe in all of the might and the power of God's Spirit. Through Christ, I can do all things.
As you're ready, gently bring movement back, wiggling fingers and toes, rotating wrists and ankles, maybe turning your head side to side. And on that next inhale, bring arms up and overhead and stretch fingers to one wall and toes to the other. And bending your knees, roll over onto your side and settle here. Just letting your blood pressure return to normal. And as you're ready, pressing into your hands, rise up to a sitting position. Finding your sitting bones, check in one final time, body, mind, and soul. Noticing what has changed, what has stayed the same, accepting it as it is. And then next inhale, arms rise high, palms together, exhaling, hands to heart, bowing your head, joining me in prayer. Holy God, we surrender. Thank you for taking the weight off of our shoulders. We know that we cannot accomplish the things that you have for us to do with our own wisdom, our own knowledge, our own strength, our own abilities. But we thank you that by your spirit, all things are possible. It is in the name of Jesus, the Christ, that we pray. Amen. Thank you for worshiping with me today.